Hi, I'm Dr. Jamie Morgan. I practice in Salt Lake City, Utah with my cute husband, Dr. Stan Presley. And we firmly believe that bleaching is the very foundation of any cosmetic dentistry that we do. Now I get this question all the time. Do lights make the bleaching agents more active? And we're talking about lights, we're talking about the big lights in dental office, right down to the little keychain lights, like this one right here. And the short answer to that is no, they do not make the bleaching agent more effective or more active. There's been so much research over the years, over many, many, many years that have disproven the idea that somehow we could heat the bleach up enough with a light source, so that's lights, lasers, or a heating element to make them more active, and it's just not happening. It doesn't work that way. In fact, most of the lights that are being used are using lower concentration bleaching agents. So not only do they not make the bleaching agents more effective, but they can also have deleterious effects insofar as you might have dehydration, which at the end of the appointment makes it look like, oh, you've had a, a really successful bleaching treatment, when in fact, once the teeth start rehydrating, that color is gonna start going down, and then you're gonna be disappointed about a day later because it's not gonna hold that super white look. It can also create a, a heat situation whereby the teeth become very sensitive. So one of the really awesome things about opalescence products is that they have water in them. They have a high water content, which does in no way impede the bleaching process, but it does keep your teeth from dehydrating. It also means that what you see when you take your tray out is not going to change over the next day or two. I use the chemically activated bleach boost. It's 40% hydrogen peroxide, and that's what we're looking for, is the highest concentration that is safe that's the most effective bleaching agent that we can possibly use. When you are in braces, you may wonder, can I bleach in braces? And if so, how does it work? Am I gonna have a yellow spot where every little bracket was? What about if you're going through a liner therapy and you have those composite mounds on your teeth? What happens there? Do you think you're gonna have a little yellow or a little brown spot? What happens is the bleach is applied to the teeth, whether it's a pre-filled tray or an in-office treatment, it penetrates the tooth within five to 15 minutes. Once those molecules get in there, they get real active. So they bleach even in the presence of a bracket because it's bleaching from the inside out. So this pre-filled tray, Opal Go, is perfect for orthodontic patients. These are super comfortable. They're great around braces or you can also use them around your orthodontic attachments if you don't want to use the aligner itself. It's so easy to put this into the mouth. The patient swallows, which forms a vacuum, which then adapts the inner tray to the brackets. The outer tray comes out, and the pre-filled opalescence go tray is in the mouth, surrounding the brackets and delivering that wonderful 10 or 15% hydrogen peroxide to the teeth. They only have to wear these somewhere between 30 to 60 minutes, depending on the instructions in your packet, but it delivers the bleach to the teeth, which as we know, then penetrates the tooth and bleaches even behind the bracket. So that when the bracket comes off, there's no yellow spot remaining. So why is it that some teeth bleach out beautifully white and other teeth have a warmth to them? Well, it comes down to the thickness of the enamel because where the enamel is thin, that nice warm dentin is gonna show right through it. And so you get that more um, polychromatic warmth to your teeth when the enamel is thinner. This is also kind of falls into that aging process. Over the years, our enamel may thin and we may not get those perfectly, brilliantly white teeth that we would have, say, if we bleached at a younger age. Different stains require different materials and methods. So how do we match the bleach to the stain or the method or the time? Well, this is what I use. When my patients have kind of that light yellow to medium yellow, um, I will offer them Opalescence Go. They're pre-filled trays, we don't have to take impressions, they buy it, they walk out the door, they do the whitening at home. The other product that works really well for that light yellow, light to medium yellow, is the Opalescence Boost. Now the Opalescence Boost is an in-office 
procedure. It's 40% hydrogen peroxide. And oftentimes with patients that just have kind of that mild yellow, this is gonna knock it out of the park. When you combine these two together though, you've got a winning combination. Start in office, finish at home. And then the nice thing about the Opalescence Go is you can always drop back by the office and pick up more as you need it. So what about those patients who have uh, more difficult stains, sort of that darker yellow to brown? How can we treat them? Well, this is still the gold standard in my office, and that is a custom tray with your Opalescence PF. I like the lower concentrations. They're more comfortable. The patients are able to sleep in them all night without any discomfort. And because it has sustained release, it's active eight to 10 hours. So when you can sleep, in the whitening agent, that's where you're gonna get your most effective and fastest results. So the patients who are really going to need that extra TLC, and these are patients who have that blue-gray stain. I still rely on my gold standard for those patients. A custom tray with a low concentration carbamide peroxide is gonna win every time. Um, they're the ones that are going to need more time, more exposure to the bleaching agent and the opalescence PF is active eight to 10 hours, so they're gonna get their best bang for their buck by wearing their trays overnight, and we're gonna see the results that we need to see. Non-vital teeth can be the most challenging stains to remove because sometimes they respond beautifully and other times you really have to stick with the program. So there's a couple of things that we'll do in our practice. We can do internal bleaching where we open up the chamber, make sure that the canals are sealed, and then we place the opalescence endo. As long as they're in the office and you're doing that, you might as well go ahead and put some of the opalescence boost on the facial other teeth, and then that way you're enveloping the teeth uh, in the bleaching agent or the whitening agent, and you're gonna get the best bang for the hour that they're in your chair. So for patients who have fluorosis staining, whether it's the brown or the white modeling on their teeth, um, oftentimes it's assumed that they will not respond to the bleaching agents. And I've treated so many patients with, with really severe fluorosis, and I'm always pleasantly surprised, even after all these years, that we can get such great success. Custom tray, opalescence, PF, wear it overnight, it may take you a few weeks to get where you need to go, but it's all about exposure to the bleaching agent. Sustained release in a custom tray, when they wear those overnight, they're gonna get the best bang for their effort. Now, after they're done bleaching, and I have never treated a fluorosis patient that didn't have successful results, but sometimes there may still be a, a little white spot or a little brown spot after the bleaching. And so then we can rely on our opaluster to give it a high polish. Always work with your dentist. Your dentist knows what products are safe and effective.